Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. It's been a while since I've done my last movie review, which happens to be Good Burger. And I just went to go see the new Marvel movie called Guardians of the Galaxy. A new space adventure film that's based on the comics. And it's a very good follow-up to one of the best superhero movies of all time. Also based on the comics as well. The Avengers also known as the Avengers Assemble. Well, before I get to the review, I'm going to let you know that there's one important note that just recently on Saturday at 1.15 p.m. I discovered that my Dell Inspiron 15-inch laptop PC has been suffering from a static screen glitch. Yeah which causes my computer screen to, to look all fuzzy inside. Yeah, there's a lot of fuzziness that's going around with a bunch of inverted colors going straight to the screen. Lots of green and magenta that's shooting up. It's one glitch that started to affect this, the whole screen, but luckily not too much though because I could still see all the stuff that's in the, the computer so everything's not all the way glitched up but it's affecting the screen you know, quite differently it's becoming more of a big distraction I tried so hard to fix this problem but like I, I try to put it on safe mode and all this other stuff and it doesn't seem to work properly so well I just hope that I pray to God though because I'm already trying to save up all the data on my DVDRs and everything so I don't lose any of these files and, and I hope I don't lose them because, you know, I'm trying to keep up with all the videos that I've uploaded on my channel and everything else so it'll be safe. So I'm hoping that in the future I hope this computer will work and last a lifetime and hopefully this doesn't happen again. So I will still be uploading more videos for a little while but after that um, I'm going to probably be taking my computer uh, to my brother and see if maybe he can fix it for me. I hope he does to see what's happening because for, for now I'm probably going to be using the other computer which I had for 10 years now the the Apple eMac computer which is Mac OS 10 and it's still working like a charm the only problem is I can't go on the internet because it's having some issues by having Wi-Fi and since I don't have a Wi-Fi connection on my computer I know the other one does that the only way I had to use that is, is signing up for a USB so I finally got myself a USB connector to use for, for my other computer so I'll be able to be able to upload more videos as far as I'm concerned though it's not going to be a little easier than I thought because since um, my other computer doesn't have Movie Maker like this computer does since it's Windows um, it probably won't be the best one to use to do a lot of editing and all this other stuff that I use to create these videos. So I know that's always going to be a big problem for that. Yeah. But on the other hand, I do have MPEG Stream Clip and I do have an HD camera, so maybe I can use that to do a lot of editing and be able to add all the stuff onto it so I can finally be able to make these videos and hopefully it'll be good for the better. Yeah, the only problem is they do take up space just to let you know but either way I hope this gets fixed pretty soon because because this computer was one of the best ones I have had so far and this is the only computer that does have a webcam you know, unlike this computer I have so I know that's a shame because that was the best place to be able to film you know myself talking about movies and all this other stuff that I like and I hope I can keep it that way in the near future Anyway, let's get back to the film Guardians of the Galaxy. It stars Chris Pratt, who's been in a lot of films, such as Serial Dark Thirty. That's a good one, by the way. With Zoe Sadana, I know she was in a terrible movie called Crossroads, but she went on to have a career with better films, such as The Terminal with Tom Hanks, and Star Trek, the new one, as well as... Um, Avatar. Yeah, I like Avatar, by the way. I don't care what anybody says. But I know it's been popular. 
And so far, you, it looked like she's playing her character like she did in, in the Avatar, but, but far different. This is based on a Marvel's comic book. She's a great actress, by the way. Also starring in the movie is Michael Wooker, you know, who's been a lot of films since Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, as well as Cliffhanger and many others. Just, he's now recently in the TV show, and yeah, currently in the TV show, The Walking Dead, the zombie series that's on AMC. Yeah, that's a very good show, by the way, uh, if you love zombie movies. Uh, Vin Diesel, who's very good in so many movies. I mean, I know he's been in all these Fast and the Furious films, but it's good to see that he's now doing a voice acting once again after his last movie. You know, the Iron Giant, that was probably his last film that he did some voice acting. Okay. Yeah. In fact, his character in this new movie looked to almost seems like like a reference to the Iron Giant. Yeah, another great you know, character that you know you love and you, know, you just hate to see him go. Bradley Cooper, yeah, he's always been great in many movies. Lee Pace, who's been known for the TV show Pushing Daisies, yeah, yeah, I, I love that show. That was on ABC back in 2007, which only lasted two seasons. I own the DVD of the series, by the way, so it's very good. He was, he was also in the movie This Predator Lives for a Day with Amy Adams and Francis McDormand, you know, um, which I get to review that somewhere. You know. Carrie and Jillian. Yimon Halsey, who was in the film Amistad, Gladiator, Push, and many others. John C. Riley, Glenn Close, and Benicio del Toro. It's co written by James Gunn and Nicole Pullman, and it's directed once again by James Gunn, which, of course, he's a poser shave from Trauma. Yeah, hard to believe he's. He's the director uh, for Trauma. He was also best known for the films that he did called Slitter. Yeah, which he also got Michael Worker in it. And, and of course, he was responsible for these two awful Scooby-Doo movies. The live-action ones, by the way. The ones that were terrible. And Movie 43, yeah, where he did one of those segments. Which, believe it or not, he won a Ratsy for both screenplay and director. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Hard to believe because this was going to be his follow-up to this movie. That's why this one is way better than, than this terrible movie 43. Anyway, let's get right to it. The movie begins following his mother's death in 1988. Peter Quill, played by Chris Pratt, who started out as a young kid, has been abducted by a group of space pirates named the Ravengers, who is led by Yondu, and played by Michael Wooker. 26 years later, on the planet Morag, the Quill had stole an orb only to be accepted by the Karaf, owned by the villainous Ronan the Accuser, who is played by Lee Pace. Although escaping with the orb, Yondu discovers his threat and issues a bounty for his capture while Ronan sends an assassin, Gamera, who's played by Zoe Saldana, to go after the orb. While stealing it from Nova Corp's homeworld, Xandar, Gamera had to bush him to steal it. And that's where the fight continues, until we get to meet two bounty hunters named, named Rocket Raccoon, and voiced by Bradley Cooper, a genetically engineered type of guy, and a humanoid that's made from a tree named Groot, who's voiced by Vin Diesel. They also meet another inmate too named Drax the Destroyer, who's played by David Bassista, a WWE warrior, who's actually a warrior that, that's trying to go after Ronan the Accuser, but he destroyed his family and daughter. And so that's this was going to be part of his revenge to go after him. And once they teamed up together, they decided to stop them from stealing the orb, and which causes all the crystals inside there to destroy many planets. 
including Xandar. So once they finally escape from that yeah. from that prison that they got stuck in, they wind up having their crest to go after them. And everything seems to go as according to plan until things go extremely wrong. And that's what I really love about this movie. It's it's such a classic space adventure film that you never thought you'd seen. And it has lots of witty dialogue and all these other funny moments that they put in. There, there was even a lot of cameos in this movie too. They even had Lloyd Kaufman, since I know he worked together with James Gunn. Interesting enough, because he played one of the inmates in that film, so that's a interesting choice that they throw it here. Yeah, and of course we got Stan Lee as usual because he's always been known to make a lot of cameo appearances in all the Marvel movies that's that's been done. And yeah, they and it definitely had uh, almost had a feel to all these other 70s and 80s space adventure shows and movies that we've been getting during those times. Yeah, it almost felt like the TV series uh, Buck Rogers in the 21st century. Yeah. Uh, not Duck Dodgers though, but it was a TV series that aired back in 1980. And it used to come on on the Sci-Fi Channel and many others. But it did air it on NBC back then. And I, I used to watch this show too when it was on. I wish it comes on again too, because I know it's been on DVD for a very long time. And surprisingly, it's, it's been hard to find. But we get a chance to look for it. So that was a guilty pleasure, and there were a lot of space uh, ventures out there that seems like a reference to it. I know Star Wars was one of them, and many others. Oh, but the and the actors were very good too, especially you know, Chris Pratt as the role of Peter Quill. He's definitely really witty in, in this film, and yeah, he knew he. I, I could definitely relate to this that he is definitely. An 80s kid, because he had he had a lot of a lot of nostalgic factor to it. And he, since he has a cassette player, but mostly just plays 70s music. So I would I guess I might as well just say 70s and 80s kid instead. So yeah, he has a um, he has a cassette player that his mother gave them as a birthday gift. Play, has a cassette inside that plays a, a mix of. Like they, a lot of classic 70s and 80s songs. Yeah, there was even a troll figure and other collectibles that he owns. And Michael Wooker is very awesome as Yondu, yeah. the space pirate who wants to go after the orb as well. So yeah, he's very good too. You know, I mean, he's always been one of the greatest actors of all time. You know, ever since I saw him in, in movies like Cliffhanger. Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer and many others. He's one of the most underrated actors of all. And I'm glad to see he's getting more work these days. Yeah, he, he deserves more. And I always love him. And all these other actors that we've seen in today's movie. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see he finally got a role that was definitely meant for him. It was perfect. He's just like Ron Pullman, by the way, you know, in that sort of way when it comes to actors who plays different roles like this. I also love Rocket <laughs> the Rocket Raccoon in the film too. He was just so hilarious too with sort of playing like almost a um, like a reference to uh, you know, Joe Pesci's character in Goodfellas. Yeah, the guy who just comes across as just <laughs> a crazy man but yes he has a good sense of humor no matter how he does this. Uh, and and Groot as uh, yeah the tree humanoid that's that winds up um, fighting all the bad guys and all that he can create his own powers by by growing a flower and and give to that little girl and, and be able to have the power to grow all these branches that he has so he was cool I love all the characters in this movie it's just amazing it's very beautiful. Very well done, creative, and I really enjoyed it. It's one of the best superhero movies of all time, and I enjoyed it so much. Even I also love Gamoir in the film too. You know, played by Zoe Saldana. She did a very good job 
it's definitely like a follow-up to her role in Avatar. Yeah, it was just great. But definitely check this movie out. You're going to enjoy this too, especially if you're a big fan of all the Marvel movies out there. Including the Avengers that I really love. And Captain America, Spider-Man, Iron Man, you guessed it, even four. Yeah. So I'm glad that so far we finally got a good movie in 2014. After all these other films that we've been getting a lot lately. And it was a perfect summer movie that's almost come to a close because... Since now we're in the middle of August, you know, school is almost there, so yeah, I wish it could go a little longer. Yeah. Anyway, I give Guardians of the Galaxy a solid and extremely awesome five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and, I'm, and I'll definitely see you later, but let's just hope that this computer will be fixed as soon as possible. And we can get right to all these movie reviews and all this other stuff that I've been doing for so long. So, and I'm, I'm going to keep this up no matter how long it takes. So, bye.